Okay, so now in this video, I'm going to show you how to take these solid block houses and make them so that there's actually an opening on the inside, so that they are hollow, okay? So what I need to do here is I'm going to just select one of these houses. We'll pick this one. And one of the cool things is earlier in the last video, we actually grouped them together. There's two different pieces of block and the triangular roof. If we want, we can always click right here on ungroup and it will re-separate the two objects back out to how they were. Okay. So now what I can do is if I want to make the inside of this block hollow, I have two different options. One thing I can do is I can come right up here to this box that has these little stripes on it. I can add that to my uh, workspace. And now I just need to make it a little bit smaller so that it fits right inside of this. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So first of all, we know that this block was 20 on all sides from the previous videos. This one is also. So if we want it to be smaller, we need to make these sizes smaller. So you can pick whatever number you want if you have exact numbers you want to use. But for now, I'm just going to make it super easy and I'm going to make them all 18. Okay? So 18 millimeters on every single side. And now what I can do is I can move this box right inside of the other. Okay, I need to move it down a little bit. Okay, so now it's moved. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that this is not perfectly centered in here. Okay, so one of the things I haven't mentioned is how much things move. If I want to move it over, it's a little too far this way. I move it back, it's too far that way. Okay, well right now, this says we can only move it by one millimeter at a time. If I change it to half a millimeter, that's half the distance, okay? So if I click right there, now I press over, and what do you know? It's perfectly centered inside of this box, okay? Sometimes moving those numbers around allow you to move things a little bit less, well, and a little bit less to get just where you want to be. It just makes it move a little slower because now I have to hold the button a little longer for it to move exactly where I want it. Okay, but now that you've got the whole move set there, well, how do we make the actual house hollow? Well, before, in the last video, we talked about how we combine things, how we made the, the bottom of the house and the roof one thing by grouping them. So once again, I'm going to select everything, and since that hollow cube on the inside was selected as well, it's also, so I can click right here on the group button and Look what happens. I can now see inside the house. Okay? So the house has now been hollowed out. So for this lesson, what I'd like you to do is I want you to ungroup one of the houses we made before. I then want you to add a, cu a cube, uh, a, bo a hollowed out cube, put it inside there wherever you want, and then I want you to recombine so that you end up with a hollowed out cube. So that you end up with a hollowed out house. And that's it.